Hi everybody, I'm Cliff, N4CCB. I'm making this video for the young new hams. Now you old timers, you already know that what I'm about to say is 100% true, so just sit back. Let me talk to the new guys for a second. All right, so in 1986, I got my ham license for the wrong reason. I did it for the ladies. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, it was 1986, I was 26 years old. There wasn't a lot going on in my world, and I was thinking, you know what, if I get my novice ticket, things are going to change, you know, because I've heard stories. So I get my ticket. You know, I have to learn Morse code and go through all the questions. I get my ticket and nothing changes. And it's a real period of confusion in my life. I'm like, gosh, where are the girls? You know, like, where are the girls? This is, this is not what I was told, you know, to expect. And so all of that, you know, happens and it's nothing going on. And, and, but until the day that I worked portable in a park. Now, I'm a QRP guy, and I don't think it just applies to QRP, but I think, you know, to a lot, of, a lot of women, when they see a QRP rig in a park, to them, you know, what they're seeing is like a puppy. You know, it's like a puppy. It's like, oh my God, that is adorable. What is that thing? Can I play with it? You know, can I touch it? Uh -huh. you know? No, you can't touch it. I mean, you got to have an FCC license, you know? The law is the law. All right, technically, I could be the control operator. You could touch it, but let's let's just stop and keep the boundary, you know, let's just keep our boundaries here. So that, that's my reality now. You know, it's like uh, a lot of the videos you see me making on my channel, I'm by myself. I'm like hiding behind a bush, you know, doing this stuff, you know, because I don't want that scene. It's awkward. You know, so like I, you know, I go out to the park and I set up and I've got like this, this pride of females, you know, just like coming toward me. I, and I can't back this up. I got no scientific uh, data here, but I think like Morse code is like an audio pheromone. You know, it's like women hear that sound. They're like, oh, what is that? Oh my goodness. Ugh. That's what happens. It just happens. And, and like, you know, they're coming towards you, you know, like these ladies, and I don't, I don't feel good about, I don't feel good about putting women in this situation, but like, they're like abandoning their strollers you know, in place. They're just, they're just dropping them, stopping, you know, they're, they're like uh, letting their dogs run wild. You know, it's, it's not good, but you know, they, they're coming. And so, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be cool and, and deter some of them, but you know, I don't know what to do. So, so I like start sending Morse code with my left hand, you know, thinking like their eyes are drawn to the motion of the, you know, maybe they'll see that. And it's like, Oh, okay. You know, this isn't going to happen. Well, that does get a few of them. And, uh, but there's like a pack that just keeps coming. And so I go to my step two, uh, which is I, I like pretend to get a fake ham phone call. So I like take my phone out and I'll use my left hand like so I can wiggle my finger a little bit. And I'll be like, uh, hello. Uh, no, that's the, you're t okay. So the coal pits oscillator is uh, tapped capacitance. That's right. Okay. All right. Talk to you later, mother. That gets a chunk of them right there. I don't know. You know, if it's, if it's like the ham lingo that's a turn off, or if it's the fact that like a 58 year old dude is talking to his mother from the park, I don't know. I don't care. You know, I don't care if it drops them in their tracks, fine. But you know, there's always that third group and, and it's awkward, you know, because like when they're, when they're coming at you by this time, they're like close and you can sort of see the wheels turning in their minds. You know, they're, they're like building a ham shack for two in their, in their heads. You know, they've got like Herman Miller air on chairs on order. They're thinking that you're going to work a contest together or something. Just wow. Right. I mean, whoa, it's not going to happen, you know? Uh, so, you know, right now I can already hear you guys like you're like, Cliff, please tell me you're not going to use the nuclear option. Yeah. I'm using the nuclear option. I don't know what else to do guys. I mean, it's like at that point, like I, I take the ring and I'm just like blatantly, you know, putting it out there and I'm like, ladies, you know, this stallion has been tamed. This is, this is not going to happen. I'm sorry. You know, I'm sorry. Uh, I hate doing that. And, and you say it's cruel. Maybe you're right. But you know, to me, guys, it's better just to, just to rip the bandaid off, you know, just, just rip it off and, and, and letting that lady know that, you know, this is it. This is as far as it goes, you know, better that than to have them just keep going and get their hearts truly broken, you know? Uh, you say it's cruel. I say it's humane. So uh, anyway, 
I could keep going. And I just, you know, but this is my reality now. You know, this is the world I live in. And uh, you start doing what I'm doing, you're going to get the same results. You know, that's how it works. So anyway, um, the title of the video is How to Pick Up Chicks with Ham Radio. So I'm going to show you a demo now of how to do that. Now, this is absolute fail-safe best way to do it. I'm going to use my Elecraft KX2, a little compact rig, but this is going to work for every ham radio. So uh, here we go. How to pick up chicks with ham radio. Happy Easter. <laughs> 